Hello students, welcome back to Clarity Concepts, Unleashing Conceptual Learning. Today in this lecture, we will solve various numerical examples on Bernoulli's equation and we will see how is Bernoulli's equation very much useful in solving real life examples for us. So please pay attention, I think this will be really a uh, uh, good lecture for you to understand the basic concepts of Bernoulli's equation and how to deploy that in solving the real life examples. Okay. So, let us continue with the series that we were looking for. So, question number 3 right now is water is flowing, water is flowing from a hose attached to a water mains. So, there is a hose which is attached to a water mains and water is flowing through that. The velocity of water at the exit of the hose is 13 meter per second. So, they say the velocity of water is 13 meter per second. If the hose is held upward, then what is the maximum height that the jet could achieve? That means they say that if water hose you keep it upward and water comes upward. So, what is the maximum height that a water could achieve if the velocity from where the water is living is 30 meter per second. So, let me show you the diagram. So, say for example, a small child, kid is playing with this hose and he has the hose in, in his hand. When the water comes out of this particular hose, the velocity is 13 meters per second. Question is what is the maximum height to which the jet should flow, the water flows. Okay. So, let me deploy Bernoulli's theorem. Let us say this is your point 1, section 1. This is your section number 2, for example, right. Now, at both this section, I will deploy Bernoulli's theorem and let us say from uh, the datum or rather you can say if this is the datum line directly. If I take this to be datum line, that means Z1 will go to 0 and let us say the height is small h. So, now let me show you the values. So, let us say for example, if I use Bernoulli's e equation applying applying Bernoulli's equation in between section 1 and 2, I will get P1 by rho g plus V1 square by 2g plus Z1 should be equals to P2 by rho g plus v2 square by 2g plus z2. Let us see one by one all the terms. P1 by rho g, pressure at 1 is atmospheric because the moment water particle comes out of any confinement, any uh, you know kind of uh, confinement of pipe, the moment it come out, comes out, the pressure exposed to it is atmospheric. So, always water particle or water jet will be in atmospheric pressure. So, P1 is atmospheric, you can say this to be 0 Pascal gauge. Then what is V1 square by 2G? V1 square is given to me as 13. So, 13 square by 2 into 9.81. So, this is 0 directly. Plus, since the datum is considered at this point only. So, Z1 is 0. Plus, this is 0. Okay, 0. Plus, what is P2? P2 is pressure at this particular point. Again, the 2 point is also exposed to atmosphere. You can also consider this to be 0. What is velocity at point 2? The moment fluid reach at the topmost position, the velocity is 0 at some instant of time, right? So, therefore, this is also 0, velocity 2. And what is Z2? Z2 is H from the datum. This is your H. This should be equal to 0 plus 0 plus H. So, what is H basically? H will be equal to 13 square divided by 2 into 9.81. So, let me find the answer. This is... See, it's very easy, but you need to know what kind of equation to be applied. So, the answer is 8.61 meters. So, this is the answer. So, that when the jet is held vertically up, the water will go up to 8.61 meters. You know what is that 8.61 meter? Can you imagine? From floor to ceiling of a residential building is 3 meters. 3. So, you can say 8.61 is almost 3 times of that. So, the jet can go up to a top of the three-story building and then come back, okay, at this velocity of 30 meter per second. All right, let us take another question. Let me check the whether the answer was correct or not. 8 point, yeah, it is correct. Let us take another example. A large tank open to atmosphere is filled with a water up to a height of 5 meter from the outlet tap as shown in figure. So, a tank is shown to you. From the outlet tap, the tank water is filled is 5 meter, right. A tap near the bottom of the tank is now open. So, you, the, ta the tap is open now and the water flows out from a smooth and rounded outlet. So, water is coming out from a smooth and rounded outlet from here. Determine the velocity of water. See, this is a very practical question. Let us say you have the overhead tank in your house. 
and you have the outlet connected at the bottom. So if you want to estimate what is the velocity of water coming out theoretically without even doing experiments, you can do simple example like this. Okay. So let us first choose point 1 which is on surface of the water, free surface of the water and point 2 which is a section at just outlet of the tap. Okay. So now if I use Bernoulli's theorem at both this point P1 by rho g plus V1 square by 2g plus Z1 should be equals to P2 by rho g plus V2 square by 2g plus Z2. Let us see what all things are given to us. P1 pressure of atmospheric because the point is open to atmosphere. Also P2 pressure is atmospheric point is open to atmosphere right. You can say both of them are cancelled as well as they are gone to zero. Now V1 square by 2g see V1 is the velocity of this water surface. Now what how much large the velocity at the outlet is the water surface velocity is not going to increase beyond certain limit because water will slowly reduce its height. The, this is the rate of change of height of the water in the tank. Now it is not going to do abruptly. So it will be very small and that small velocity if you do square it will be even smaller. So you can neglect this V1 square in comparison to this V2. So what is V2 square by 2g? V2 square by 2g equals to let us say Z2 is on the left hand side Z1 minus Z2. Z1 minus Z2. Right. So imagine Z2 itself to be the datum line. If I say datum line is this itself. So Z, Z1 minus Z2 is directly 5 meters, isn't it? Difference between the two height. So V square by 2g is equals to 5. So V2 is equals to 2 into 9.81 that is 2g into 5 and then under root of that. So what is V2? 2 into 9.81 into 5. This is 9.9 .9 meter per second. Let me check the answer. This is the final answer. I hope this is correct. Yes, this is correct. So see, this is nothing but under root 2 gh. 2 g and h is the height. Many a times we have used this formula under root 2 gh for velocity. When it is a free potential head is stored in water surface and if you want to estimate what is the velocity of water coming out from particular height, then you always use the formula called under root 2 gh. And this formula comes from the Bernoulli's equation. Clear? So I hope you understood this very well. Hope to see you in the next class. Thank you so much.